I am forgiven. When you came in this morning, you received a little rock, a little stone. Would you take it out now? Set it aside. By the way, thank you for not throwing it at me. I appreciate that. I want you to look at the rock. Just a reminder. Do you know what we deserve? Every one of us? Do you, do you know what we deserve, you and I? So why, why haven't we been executed? So why aren't we condemned? Because there's not one of us in this room who has not broken the law. Can I tell you why? It's because of the gift that changes everything. It's because Jesus looked at us in our sin and said, I've got you covered. And he forgave us of all. Listen to me. He forgave us of all our sin. And said, now do better. And that is a gift of simple grace. I mentioned to you that this is one of my favorite stories in John's gospel. Because as I read this story, I don't identify with Jesus. I don't even identify with the Pharisees. I don't even identify with the followers who are listening to Jesus teach. I identify with the woman who broke the law. And I see myself standing there. And I realize that my only hope my only hope is that Jesus would say to me, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. That is simple grace. The God of the second chance. So can it be that simple? I mean, can it be that simple? that we come to Jesus and that he takes all our, all our sin away? Yes. Jesus said if you believe and receive, you can become. If you believe that Jesus is indeed God in the flesh, the one who paid the price to atone for your sin, and this morning, if you've not done that, if you've never said, I believe it, I believe it, then I challenge you to make that statement now. And if you receive, here at Chandler Christian Church, we talk about that receiving as getting on base with God by believing that Jesus is the Son of God, admitting that you are a sinner, that you have sinned that you're guilty for, and surrendering your heart to Jesus, and then expressing that faith in Christian baptism, picturing his death and his burial and his resurrection. That if you believe and you receive, you become the children of God. And Jesus stands before you and says, neither do I condemn you. Go and leave your life of sin. Phillips, Craig, and Dean wrote a song a number of years ago, and the chorus still haunts me. The chorus says this, your grace still amazes me. Your love is still a mystery. Each day I fall on my knees because your grace still amazes me. Your grace still amazes me.